In this video, we are going to add some coconuts on the ground, and we are going to make it so that our sphere player can collect the coconuts. So the first thing that we will do is we will um, add a new game object. So we'll go to game object, 3D object, sphere. Now, right away, we can see that this coconut is about the same size as our person, and we don't want that to be the case. So we will um, go ahead and click on our player and come up here to click on the scale option and click the middle box to scale evenly in all the axes, and we'll make it bigger. Okay. And then we can go back to the transform tool and just pick our giant up out of the ground. <laughs> That's maybe way too big. So we're just going to scale it down a little bit. Too big compared to the trees, right? Okay, so there we go. It's not really a realistic game. There you go. Okay, so there's our player. And here's our coconut. And currently it's named Sphere, so let's just rename it to Coconut. And press enter. And then uh, let's go ahead and apply a material to the coconut so that it looks more like a coconut. Now, in our standards asset folder, in the palm folder here under speed trees, we have a palm bark. So we could just grab that and apply it. And now our, our coconut looks more like a coconut. Okay, so. We've got a somewhat coconut looking sphere and um, we have a player, but the player doesn't know how yet to pick up the coconuts. So let's first add a bunch of coconuts. And in order to do that, we want to turn our coconut into a prefab. So remember before we made uh, prefabs of our trees and now we want to make our coconut into a prefab so we'll take the coconut from here and we'll move it over into our prefabs folder and now um, whenever we change the qualities of this prefab coconut it will affect all of the coconuts that we have on in our game so we can go ahead and drag these out and place them all around in our game Oops, sorry, coconut. There we go. And then I'll go over here. Good. Okay, so we've got some coconuts in our scene, and now we want to uh, tell the player how to interact with the coconuts. So, in order to do that, we are actually going to change the script in the player. So, we have, um, oh, and let's also select everything and let's uh, in here create an empty and let's rename it to coconuts and let's drag our coconuts into that so that we don't have such a messy scene here so now all the coconuts are organized okay so we've got our coconuts and we are going to work on the player script. So the player script you could get to from two ways. One way is to click on player and then click on the player controller script there. And then the other way is to go to our script folder, which we made earlier, and click on player controller. So we're gonna click here. And this takes us into, oh, sorry. Uh -oh. Let me just erase this because I already put the code in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an on trigger enter. And um, the way this works is you write void and then on trigger enter. And of course, this is um, all cap sensitive. And next, we're going to put in parentheses collider, which is a capital C, space other. So this is when the player character enters a collider that is other than the player's collider. And uh, then we are going to create curly brackets. And we are going to write if 
other dot game object and this is one thing you'll notice about unity is sometimes the words are written with every word having capital and sometimes the first word doesn't have a capital so you need to watch out for that so if other game object dot compare tag and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a tag to our coconut and we're going to say compare tag coconut in in quotation marks because we're actually it's a string we're going to call it coconut coconut good and then we close that parenthesis and then we have to add another parenthesis to close this first parenthesis which you can see has now lit up Okay, so we've got those parentheses closed, and then we're going to add some more details, which are going to be in a curly bracket, and we're going to say other dot game object dot set capital S active, and what this is going to do, um, we can now put true, which would make it that when the player touched this object the object would become active, but we're actually going to make it false. And what that means is that when the player touches the game object that is tagged with coconut, the coconut will no longer be set to active. And when objects are not set to active, they are invisible and not in the scene. And so that is going to make the coconuts disappear when the player rolls over them. And so now we need to close this curly bracket and then press enter and backspace and we'll close this first curly bracket. So void on trigger, enter, the, there's those curly brackets and here's these curly brackets and I like to put this like that. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got some code and we'll go ahead and say file, save. And then we're gonna come into our game. Now we have to do, before we can play the game and run it, we have to do a few things. One thing is we need to go into our prefab of the coconut and we need to tag it with the word coconut because you can see right here that the tag is untagged. So we don't actually have a tag in here, but the game, it, um, objects do come in with a certain set of available tags. So we're gonna add a tag and we're going to say plus, and then we're going to call the new tag coconut with a capital C just the way we spelled it in the code. And then if we just come out of here, you can see we didn't actually tag it yet, but now coconut is on our list. So we'll click coconut. And now this player is tagged as coconut, um, which will make our code work. And then the next thing we need to do is remember when in our code we said on trigger enter and you can see here that our coconut sphere has a collider that's crucial so when our player touches the collider that's going to be a trigger and so we need to turn on the trigger. So this coconut is a trigger and it is tagged as coconut. So now that we've set these things, we should be able to go into game mode and we should be able to roll around and when we roll over a coconut, ta-la, the coconut disappears. So now our player can roll around and I'm a very clumsy roller. I hope you're all better than I am at this. There we go. We can wah, go around and it's a challenging game if it's me playing it, go around and connect, collect the coconuts. And there we go.